Hey guys, well, I was going to do a broadcast tomorrow because we have big news coming out of Wild Rose Brewery. They're going to be announcing if they're going to be doing this big sell with uh, with Sleemans or not. And uh, I was going to do a live broadcast, but what the hell? This one deserves to be live right here, right now, because I am in shock. Um, this is one of the ones that I did not expect have happen at all. And here we are discussing it today. I was out looking at a job, going for an interview, and I thought, well, let's just read up what's going on here. So I went and looked at the articles, and my Facebook blew up. Oh, my Facebook, my Twitter, everything blew up because of what's going on now i'll get into that too in just a second because i do am i am enjoying this beer right now and we're gonna sit down and have some drinks while we're doing this because i'm gonna need to drink on this um yeah this is berry time raspberry kolsch from don's craft brewery and i have to say this beer is phenomenal looking and it's absolutely delicious so i've had this before there's a review coming up very soon about this so yeah, dogfish head. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. This is huge. This is huge news. Dogfish head has now merged with Boston Beer Company. And those are the makers of Samuel Adams Beer and Angry or Orchard Hard Cider. The merger is valued about $300 million. The transaction expects to close late in the second quarter of 2019, subject to closing conditions. It's a stunning turn of events for the Milton-based independent brewery founded by Sam Calone, Calion, sorry, I can't even pronounce that name, a Massachusetts native whose wife, Mariah, who was born in Delaware. Dogfish has plans to retain its name and still will be a craft brewery, according to a press release sent out Thursday. The brewery go uh, goers at Milton Brewery Thursday were shocked by the news. Many shared concerns that Dogfish Head will lose its revel local touch as a result of the deal. We like local home hometown. We like the local hometown feel of it," said Joe, Joe, who was visiting from Pennsylvania with his wife Diane. This is one of the reasons why we stop here when we come to the Delaware area. We're hoping that maybe it will stay the way it is. Milton president Paul Sweeters, who said he moved to the area 40 pounds ago, <laughs> said a merger was surprising news on several levels. No kidding. I think a lot of us, this shook the beer news world today. We're big boys and we've all been through mergers, he said. But this main concern is that they don't move the brewery or production to Boston because he's not sure how he'd explain a three-day shipping trip to his wife. <coughs> or three-day shopping trip, sorry, not shipping. They say it's off-centered, and they are. Um, we are. Okay, I guess that's some, yeah. For Sweater and his group of friends, coming together over dogfish beer has been a sign of friendship. Boston Beer Company is the second largest American craft brewer based on sales volume behind Yingling, according to the most recent Brewers Association statistics released in March. Dogfish was ranked 13. Bob Pease, a president and CEO of Brewer, the Brewers Association, said Thursday night that Yingling will remember will, will remain number one after the merger is completed. Boston Beer was founded in 18, or 1984 by Innovate Brewer and Chairman J, uh, Jim Koch. The company is widely recognized as helping to launch the craft beer industry when it started making Sam Adams beers. It also produces Angry Orchard Hard Sire. Truly hard seltzer and twisted tea. Dogfish Hess Brewery began in uh, Roboth, Reboth, it sounds like a planet on Star Wars, Beach in 1995 and a nano, uh, as a nano brewery. As the company grew, brewing moved to its uh, current Milton site, where the brewery and tasting room have been since it became one of Delaware's top tourist destinations. Like, this is huge. As he was leaving the uh, the Reboth Brewery Thursday night for a trip to New York, Cologne 50 said, or Caliano, Caliano, oh, fuck, whatever, 50 said that the company's not leaving its Delaware roots. 
We'll get into this in a second. If you care about true indie craft beer, come to our locations and celebrate with us, he said. If anything, our combined companies will get more and more off-centered as we fight the world of conglomerates that dominate our country's beer landscape. In other words, you're going to get more money to help out with this. It goes on from there for quite a bit. Um, yeah, this is like reading a pretty much a five-chapter massive book i'll uh, put the link down below actually um in the chat so you can read and also i'll put it down below so you can see it but this is huge news this is this is absolutely massive news i i'm shocked i am really shocked at this that this is actually going down i i don't know what to expect about this this is one of those ones where you're like um that came out of the blue they kept it secret quite a bit, so I don't know. My thoughts of this pretty much stand as this. If their product does not change and they keep it the way it is, they've got a good thing going. They have got beers all over North America, which is great. This also could very well mean that they might be able to expand their production and their location of sh sending the beer out, which could mean Canada could see Dogfish Head in the very near future, especially Alberta, who's got some of the biggest named beers out there coming up here. I mean, we just got one out of I uh, from Idaho that I reviewed three years ago, and it took three years for it to come up here. Three years. And it was one of the better beers I had. Now, if this happens, it means Dogfish Head could potentially be up in Canada. That's not a bad thing if they don't change the recipe. That's not a bad thing if they expand their, their production. I don't see a big, huge issue with this. Yes, it is with a major company. But that also means the merger means they can expand out. We see Twisted Tea up here. We see that hard cider up here. We see Sam Adams up here. Granted, it's the core stuff, not much of their, their other stuff, but we see that stuff up here, which means Dogfish Head could very well be coming up to Canada in the very near future. I would probably gather a guess that there might actually be a launch of it in Alberta, possibly BC, let's say by winter 2019. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong, but I would love to see that. As someone who's had three of the Dogfish Head beers, I've had the 60, 90, and 120, I think that would be a very huge, huge thing for these guys. All three of those can be kept on shelf in a fridge for a very long period of time. They're all very strong Imperial IPAs, which can very well hold their shelf life for more than just three months. We could also see some of the extra stuff. Now, if I remember correctly, Dogfish has, does do some barrel-aged stuff. It could show up here. I just, taking a guess at this, it could very well happen. And if it does, that expands Dogfish Head out a lot, which gives them a little bit extra. I'm not overly opposed by this. I'm not for it, but because Dogfish Head does really well on their own. They're number 13 in the rankings by themselves. They don't have all this big, they don't have this big, portfolio that Boston Beer Company has. Well, Boston Beer Company has a bigger portfolio now. But I don't think this is something, this is huge. I mean, this might just sort of wipe away the whole um, Wild uh, Rose one. So this is, this is going to be interesting. I honestly feel that this is going to be something that's going to be really good. It's going to be an awesome deal to see. 
and it's going to be something that a lot of us get to experience and possibly enjoy. I don't think any recipes are going to change. I don't think anything else is going to hurt from it. I just feel that this is going to be something that will give us something a little bit extra in the beer world. I don't, I don't know. This whole thing about people saying that you've merged with these bigger companies to, you're going to lose out on this stuff. There's been a lot of them that we haven't seen that. A lot of people still complain, but there's a lot of people that still, like we have not seen any changes of major recipes in any of these breweries that have been bought out. Mill Street still has the same stuff that they've got going on. They still have a decent amount of style and class. Mill Street Calgary does does a lot of stuff. Hey, Bumpy Road, how are you doing? I heard about this a little bit ago, and what are your thoughts? Like, if you're in the chat, let me know your thoughts of what you think about this. Honestly, I'm not opposed. If there's a lot of changes that happen to this, then I can see that there'll be a lot of hate for it, which will cause Dogfish Head to lose a lot of their reputation, which is something that Dogfish Head does not want to do. This is this is a bold move by any stretch of the imagination. It's just one that I don't think will, will cause a lot of turmoil. Um... It's, it's it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. I, I feel that, I don't know, like, I, I want to see how this plays out. As a fan of Dogfish Head, I want to see how this plays out, because I want more of Dogfish Head stuff up here. It's going to cost an arm and a leg, but it cost me an arm and a leg to buy it from down the States or have my friend bring it up from down the States. Their, their 120 cost me close to $30 Canadian for a small bottle. That was after the conversion of rates. I mean, it's still going to be expensive. It's still going to cost me a lot of money, no matter what. Dogfish has, is not cheap. They, they've never been cheap. But it's always been one that... You know, it's going to be interesting. I don't know how to feel about this aside from I'm a little excited about it. I'm actually really excited about it. So I don't know. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Um, personally, I don't see a bad thing happening with this. Uh, it's not like it's yingling buying them out. I mean, if Gingley were buying them out, there would be a lot of different conversations here. This is this is Boston Beer Company, which has a good portfolio. A lot of people still like Sam Adams stuff. A lot of people still drink Sam Adams stuff. A lot of people still drink the Twisted Tea. A lot of people still drink the the hard cider. I mean, it's they've got their reputation from the craft beer drinkers to the people that just want to drink and get drunk. It's there. It honestly is. Um, honestly, I feel that this is decent. I don't find a bad thing. Be another large craft brewery and not one of the big three, which is true. I mean, as I said, Wild Rose Brewery up here is possibly being bought out by Sleeman's, which is Yingling as well. So that's going to be a different conversation altogether. And we find out that tomorrow, and I will be going live with that. Well, as soon as I find the news, as soon as it pops up on my feed, I'll be going live with that. Um, it's it's. I have no problems with this. <laughs> it's an interesting merger. Uh, it's one that is going to be for the record books. So, yeah, honestly, not bad. I, it's it's a shocker for sure. A lot of people were not expecting news like this to come out of the beer world today. I certainly wasn't. And I certainly don't think 
that a lot of people were expecting dogfish has to do this. I mean, that's, that's a shocker that, that shocks a lot of people. So, but that's the news for now. I mean, that's all I've got. I've been out and about doing things. So I hope it brings down the cost to maybe put out dogfish head mix packs. That is what I want to see. I want to see the cost come down and yes, mix head, dogfish head mix packs would be awesome. And as I was saying earlier, I would love to see it come up to Canada. They now have this ability to come up to Canada because they have the people that are helping them out have the port have their portfolio up in Canada too. So we might see some stuff coming up here. Hopefully it's not their old stock like some of these other American companies have done. Shame on you. Hopefully it's some good stuff. Like I this is what I want to see. I want to see this actually expand their portfolio and come north because as a fan of craft beer this is one of the ones that people need to try just because it's like they're it's like trillium or treehouse or anything else um goose island yes i said goose island stuff that people have to try just to say that they've tried it this would be one of the things that people will try and they might share with a bunch of other people. And if they start bringing up different ones up here, then it might actually expand out. Belching Beaver came up here and they're not left yet. They're they're They've got not really a lot of their core brands coming up. They do some one-ofs every now and then. But their staple uh, peanut butter stout stays up here. It's up here. And it's a $22 six-pack up here which is not cheap but you got to go with the cost omni polo still here and i just bought four of them and i looked at the price and their small cans set like seven bucks a piece but it's omni polo stuff that people have to try have to craft beer enthusiasts have to try type thing so dogfish head coming up this way would not be a bad thing it would honestly be a great thing i totally would be down with that I would not have a problem as long as none of the recipe has changed. I mean, you can't really change a 60, 90, or 120. It's pretty much throwing in hops that you use one a minute for 60 minutes, 90 minutes, or 120 minutes. So, still haven't had Wicked Weed. I like to try their stuff. I, yeah. Wicked Weed sounds interesting just because of the name. <laughs> yeah, there's, I mean, we've got... This is this is not a bad thing on overall. This is something to celebrate. This is something that I would like to like to really see happen. Um, there's gonna be people pissed off with this, but you know what? Again, better than Minha's buying them because if Minha's bought them, I'd be boycotting the fuck out of them. Totally, completely, and utterly. I don't care who the hell you are. You just got touched by Minhas. Ew. So, <laughs> of course, everyone knows my hate for Minhas. If you don't, you do now. But yeah, so that's what's happening in the world right now. I didn't have a lot to say. Didn't think it was going to be a long conversation. Um, again, I'll be putting the article that I saw in the description. Uh, it was in the uh, chat if you haven't read about it yet. And it's there for people to see. I would love to hear your comments down below after I go offline to let me know what you think. Because this is one. <laughs> A collab, 60-minute rebel. Hmm. That'd be interesting. See, uh, again, I haven't had a lot of Boston Beer Company's beers. A lot of them haven't come up. A lot of staples have come up or the yearlies come up. But not a lot of the... You know, just the one of like we get the Oktoberfest up here every now and then. That's about it. Or we get something else, but it's usually the core brand, Sam Adams. That's it. Here you go. Or Twisted Tea or anything else. God, Twisty, Twisted 60 Minute Relief. Nope, nope. That's that's pushing it too far. That's pushing it way too far. That's a bad combo right there. So, yeah. Um, 
Ooh, actually, I wonder. Boston and Dogfish Head. You know, I'm surprised they haven't made something called, like, the Boston Tea Party, or have they? I don't know. Where it's pretty much Twisted Tea and uh, Sam Adams coming together, making the Boston Tea Party. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went too bad. I went too far on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got a frowny face on that one. <laughs> No, I, I just, I feel that this, as I said, isn't a bad thing, isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, I'm glad that it's happening because if six months down the road, hey, drunken one, how are you doing? Six months down the road, if stuff comes up here, I have no problems with this. They keep the recipe and bring it up here, bring it on up. I want to try more dogfish head and I said that time and time again. Now I have a chance possibly to try it more. So this Canadian doesn't object. If you feel that I'm wrong and you should be letting me know otherwise, feel free to. I would love to hear your comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. And I have no problems with objective banter about this. If you feel that it's a bad idea, let me know why. Give me a description of why you feel it is a bad merger. If you feel it's a good merger, let me know why. I would love to hear why you think it's a good merger. I'm on the side of it's a good merger because of the fact that I now possibly can get more if they keep the recipe, if they keep it inside the location that they're brewing in, and if they don't move to Boston, which they said they will not be planning to do. So we'll see what comes out of this. At this point in time, I don't think this is a bad idea. But that's just me. Anyways, folks, I would love to stay in chat, but I've got a lot of things I have to do. In fact, I have to go pick up my wife now, and if I don't, I'm in deep crap. You need to try Noble Rot by Dogfish Head. Okay. If it comes up here, I will definitely try it. That is that I will make a list of that right now. And try that out because I feel that that would be a good thing. Um, again, I've had the 60, 90, and 120, and all of them have been decent. The 120 I was kind of put off with because it felt like it was almost a barley wine the way it tasted. But it still got me really drunk, 17 to 19%. They don't even tell you the alcohol ABV on it because they don't even know themselves what it could be, which is fair. It got me drunk off a small bottle. It got me very drunk, and I was happy with that. I had no problems with that. Anyways, folks, we will talk to you real soon. Thanks again for joining. I do have to get going, so join me tomorrow when I find out about what's going on with Wild Rose Brewery. I will be going live, and you will be seeing my thoughts on that. I already have a few thoughts, objective or not. They probably won't release the deals of the merger or buyout. If they have a buyout, they may all of a sudden not do it but we don't know we won't find out until tomorrow all right folks till next time i am pk saying cheers stay frosty we'll see you real soon and i may be back for some gaming tonight we don't know till next time have yourselves a wonderful night thanks again